Hello and welcome to the very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the AG ML or missile launcher. A unit from the MSV. It's a unused concept for the Jabaro uh, base invasion part of the Gundam uh, original Gundam series. In game, it's a 200 to 250 ground capable only raid with a ballistic resistance of 14, a beam resistance of 1, a melee resistance of 3, a range strength of 10, a melee strength of 15, and a very nice movement of 130, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we have close range of 3, a medium of 5, and long range of 4. And of course, it is a melee priority 3 unit. It has a left arm missile launcher, um, does okay damage, has okay range, and um, it's not bad. But it's really not going to be one of your major damage dealers in this suit. What will be is the drill and shoulder saw, which is really just the, the drill, which does fairly low damage initially from what it looks like. But it does sustain hits, so whenever you do an attack, you hold it out for a certain amount of time. You can really catch people in un or surprising ways with this unit's melee. For other equipment, we have the Laser Torch, which does great damage and has pathetic range and overheats immediately. And then we have the Head 4-Tube Missile Pod, which is just a slightly longer range a uh, slightly less damaging version of the arm missile launcher. <laughs> For skills, we have high performance balancer, maneuver armor, anti-blast stabilizer, emergency evasion system, leg, or special leg buffer level two, offense system, special right arm equipment buffer, melee combo controller, aquatic mobile shooting, and assault booster what do i think of this suit it is the mosquito of raids it is fast it's annoying it's small and when it hits you you really do know about it it's not quite the jackass of hornets but it's definitely mosquito you're gonna fill it and especially if you're going all in with those melee attacks and you have a team that's letting you get there oh boy is it a pain in the butt so let's see how it does in the match to come hello and welcome to the match everybody hope you're having a fantastic time this is really the mosquito of raids and um i hadn't expected to be uh playing it when i uh decided to do this situation battle I think, uh, oh, there we go and um of course we got some classic orange and blue almost almost channel colors but uh we're gonna start the match off by checking our uh our quick switch and then uh moving over here and um i'm gonna be fairly aggressive in this match because um well this unit has really bad defenses and uh low armor so i'm gonna take a shot from over here notice it's our support our our enemy support, we're going to come in, get him with that, and then we're going to come in and get him there, take him out, back off real quick. Now I'm going to play around this little stump and throw some missiles at our guy, but I'm going to keep trying to use the terrain to uh, protect myself from the fire, then come in. And my guy's going to knock him out a little bit, and I'm going to come in and get him with that double. But I'm going to miss that one. I should have gotten him with a side swing. I'm going to try to come over here, overshoot. And I'm going to push back and go right for this guy and get him with the side swing. Uh, like I said, this unit does ridiculous amounts of damage in consideration to the sustained hits. And I noticed the support's back, so I'm going to come after him, get him with the side swing and then the full, and he's gone. Shazam. So, we're doing too, uh, pretty good. I'm going to miss my shot there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna continue pursuing and I really should have used the side swing there and we're gonna throw some missiles uh, come up I'm letting him focus on my, uh, my other guy and we'll catch him with the swings there 
we're gonna bounce out of that to avoid the uh, the hook and uh, I'm gonna call it, keep trying to back up my guy but I'm gonna also be as aggressive as I can while using the terrain and I'm gonna catch him here and give him a little double now you can see the damage on this thing is absolutely insane I was gonna try to get out of the uh, support fire and uh, yeah, I kind of do it because I wanted to back up three here so I'm gonna come in and we're gonna miss with our attack because he decided to uh, move at the wrong time we're gonna take a couple stuns I'm gonna pursue this uh, aqua Gundam marine Gundam I can never remember the name of the bang thing and we're gonna get him there with the uh, little thrust hit with the drill throw some more missiles we're gonna push this guy um, overshoot him a little bit we're gonna come up behind and I'm not gonna attack because I didn't want it to hit the pool we're gonna catch him there get him with that drop down get him with that and take him out uh, <laughs> the fact that it did that much damage to that high cost of a suit yeesh. so uh, here we are we're at 2000 ish health we're gonna play around this area and we're just gonna push we're now at 500 we're one tap away I'm going to just keep playing with the uh, the terrain in this spot to do as much uh, blocking for me so I can come in and we're going to take it out there. Shazam! At the 4 minute and 30 second odd uh, mark. Not bad. So we're going to drop in at C and um, we see our guys are kind of spread out along with the other ones. Um, one of our dudes has popped in we're just going to push uh, we're going to push it to the limit and go for it. We're going to throw some missiles in there, switch over to our melee. He's going to get taken out, decide to switch to a, a different target. We see this guy, and we're going to come in, but he's going to have some backup. So we're going to get him with the missiles, and we're going to push him, but we're going to miss, and he's going to try to get the counter. I'm going to pull back, hit him with that, and... We're going to do pretty substantial, but we're going to get Zogok. Uh, and uh, we're coming in, tap him, he's gone. And we're going to switch over to missiles, pop some of those. I don't really use them for actual reasonable damage, but I come in, smack the, uh, I believe the Aqua Gundam. I believe that's, uh, no, it's not the Aqua Gundam. I can never, the GP1. There we go. We're not going to waste our time with him, so we're going to push over here. He's going to hit us with the uh, the line there, but we're going to be able to recover. And, of course, that little Gundam is going to keep following us. We're going to hit him a little bit, but he's going to roll out of it. Now, in this situation, I'm just buying for time because, one, they can outgun me. And uh, charging into them would have been bad, so I'm hoping that they can... Uh, distract for me come in he's gonna miss with that we're gonna catch him with the side swing because it's gonna carry us forward it's gonna knock him down we're gonna go ahead and go over and push on this uh, Gundam unit in support we'll overshoot him so the Zogok doesn't catch us with his uh, attack and we're gonna wait we're gonna we're gonna get hit by the Zogok and we notice he's behind us <laughs> but Here's the thing, I want to push and get these guys down so they're less of a threat. So we're going to go ahead and smack him a few times, take him out real quick. Then we're going to push back up and we're going to wait for a second and get smacked again by the Zogok, who I don't know why he went ahead with that attack, but eh, whatever. And uh, we're going to come up, we're going to catch the, uh, the Gundam there, take him out. And now we know there's a support up there pumping um, some fire down. So I decide I'm going to try to jump up there and go for him, but he's going to go cruising by. So we're going to pursue, and we're going to drop down and immediately drop. Go down into a melee and get him with those. And side swing, take him out. Not get hit by the Zogok, which is good. Don't want to get fisted like that, I'll tell you what's in. We're going to dodge as uh, that guy comes after us. Catch him with the side swing. That forward uh, basic attack takes so long, we catch him as he comes out of that dodge. And 
we're uh, at the last minute or so, so we're going to go ahead and push our uh, guy here. And he's going to miss a little bit. We're going to catch him with that side back off. Team got him. And, uh, well, we are on very little health. There's not a lot of time, so we're just going to push. We're going to catch his toes and knock him down. And we're just going to get taken out in a few seconds. Because uh, one, we really can't survive a shot from him. But you can see just how much focus they were starting to put on uh, that unit. So we're going to spawn in once again at sea in the last couple seconds. Float down to the bottom and land like an angel. An ugly, misshapen angel. <laughs> Oh, it really is a mosquito. <laughs> so, we got two board spots. And, first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.